Hey guys, Biscuity with another video. So today I'm doing a uh, tutorial number three on One Night at Toots. So last time we did this. So this is what we did last time, the menu. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the play button. So what we're going to do is make a new costume. Call it play button. No. And now what we're going to do is make it. So I want a sort of green play button with a black outline just like that. Make it a little bigger. And then we're going to put text in it. I'm just going to do this. Chinese font or whatever it's called. Oops, it's green. Make sure to change the text color to black or whatever you want, but it can't be what the background color is. Then now let's make this to the correct size. This episode we're pretty much gonna be making the buttons and the what is it, newspaper? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna get that green again. It's like here, except make it darker like that. Um, let me see here. There. Oops. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go when flag is clicked, hide, when I receive menu, show, go to front. And underneath the when flag is clicked hide, we're going to put forever go to front, just like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make it, let's just say go over here, and we're going to set the size to, say, 65. Then I think this would be good, and let's go to this position, negative 185, negative 122. And now let's look at this, if it works. Okay, so here you can see the play button. One thing I forgot to add is when, when I see menu switch costume to costume 1. So yeah, that's what it's going to look like. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go, when I receive, after when I receive menu, we're going to go forever. And then this is going to be a little bit more complicated, but it should be easy. And then we're going to put wait until touching mouse pointer switch costume to costume 2 and then wait until not touching mouse pointer switch costume to costume 1 okay so now that's gonna work like this as you can see when our mouse pointer goes on it it switches to costume 2 that's why we made it now I'm just going to add a sound effect, obviously not pop. I usually like... Let's go to effects, and then just search through here. I usually usually do crunch. It sounds like this, so we're going to start sound crunch. Just like this. We're going to save. Make sure to save constantly, so... Now that's what it looks like. So we got some of the base code set up. Now what we're going to do... Is it gonna go when this sprite is clicked? Broadcast. Let's say newspaper, because we're gonna make the newspaper that essentially explains a little bit of the storyline. And then we're gonna hide. And then we're gonna go into control and stop all, but change that to a stop other scripts in this sprite. Okay, now we've done that. We want to go into the menu sprite, and when I receive newspaper hide, and then go to control, get a stop all block, but change that to a others in the sprite, and we're going to do that for that. Same with the static too. 
we're gonna do it for there so now pretty much that all hides when we do that and then we're gonna make the newspaper so we're gonna make another sprite we're gonna call it news paper oh yeah I forgot to say another thing you can do instead of making it instantly hide make sure to have this instantly hide though the play button but one thing you can do is you can go make this cool little animation which is repeat 100 get a repeat block change it to 100 and then when it says when flag is clicked hide but clear graphic effects and then in the repeat 100 block we want to go change ghost effect by negative by one not negative one so there and then hide and this is what it's going to look like now. We could do the same for uh, the static, so just drag this into the static like that. And now we can do... We can just take the original one I received newspaper and the static and hide it. And then we hit save. And this is what it should do now. As you can see, we have that. And then it does that little fading animation, which is pretty cool. Anyway, now what we're gonna do is with the newspaper, I recommend just setting up some base code so when flag is clicked, hide. When I receive newspaper, show, go to front. And then we're gonna set a coordinate which is 0, 0, which is the middle of the screen. And we're gonna go forever. And under the when flag is clicked, hide, we're gonna go forever go to front and then we're gonna save that and now for the actual thing itself we're just gonna make a little like table I guess you could say so we're gonna get we're gonna go to orange but then we're gonna darken that so it looks like a brown and then we're gonna get an outline of black and then change it to three there, okay now we're gonna make a box like that just put it in the middle and then we're gonna just put some black lines like that in the corners just to give it a little bit more detail there okay now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a little paper so let's get white let's say maybe a little bit like that okay so here's gonna be the paper that's gonna be the paper, and now we're gonna write pretty much like job offering or whatever you want. I'm gonna write that job offerings. Offerings. Okay, now that we've done that, we're gonna just crop it, make sure it's a good size, and then we're gonna have just a little description of the job. So like. And then we're gonna make an auto text block that's gonna be that's gonna say pretty much like don't trust them. So like don't trust them. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that on here. Okay, so now we have that. We're gonna convert it to a bitmap and we're gonna get a gray color. Just do that. And then we can do a light if we want. So we're going to put a light like this. Let's change. We're going to get a line, change it to four. Let me see here. There. There. And now we're going to make a little light by taking our circle option, then getting a yellow and making it lighter. Changing the saturation. Saturation? Yeah, I don't know how to say that. Um. Anyway, now what we're going to do. Is we're gonna make it into a light, so just like that. Okay, so now after we've done that, made it into a light ish shape, we're gonna go like this. Just gonna place a little white thing and take off the barrier, take off the outline on that. There. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do now. But what we're also going to do is we're going to create a new spray called effects. Or let's just call it lighting effect. 
and it's gonna simply look like this. So we're gonna we're gonna take this. We're gonna convert it to bitmap first of all, and then we're gonna take black, and then we're gonna select this little circle option here, and then we're gonna get white. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. Actually, sorry. Want to do is swap these around. Make sure the white is on the left and black is on the right. And then we're gonna convert it to bitmap. And then there. So that's gonna be a first lighting effect. So it's gonna go. We're gonna go when flag is clicked. Hide when I receive newspaper. Show. But we have to set ghost effect to let's say 50 and then go to front and we also have to make sure this goes to zero. 0 okay so now after we're done that we want to save and let help, let's say we want to make the newspaper hide after a little bit we're gonna go wait let's just say for good measure 12 seconds and then repeat 100 change brightness what is it yeah change color effect by 25 we're going to change that to brightness and change brightness by negative one hide we're also with with this wind flag is clicked hide we're going to get a clear graphic effects block drag it in there okay now the game should look like this Okay, so we have this, and then we have this little thing, the play button, and then when we click the play button, it obviously shows us this. But what we want to make sure we do is actually not have a go to front block. This is a little glitched. We have to take out the go to front block, just like that, but as you can see, it hides like that. Nothing really happens afterward, but we had to take out the go to front block only because this lighting wouldn't show up because this would go in front of it. So let's do that. See what it looks like now. Okay, see as you can see the here's the lighting effect. Which looks pretty good. And if we want to add an another added effect, we're gonna hit show. We'll we're gonna set we're gonna set the um, brightness to negative 100 and then we're gonna go repeat 100 change brightness by one okay. So this is what it's going to look like. This is the final product for today. So I did the newspaper and the play button. Okay, see we have that cool effect. And then it's going to wait 12 seconds. And there, so that's what we've done so far. It looks pretty good. So anyway, stay tuned for part 4, and guys, on that note, bye!